Thank you for tuning in to Some Room to Grow. I'm Greg Walgast, and I wanted to share my thoughts on this idea of having or not having a green thumb, because I think that it discourages a lot of new gardeners from really continuing to learn more about gardening and get better, uh, especially at this time when there are tons of people who are trying this out for the first time, and that's fantastic. The gardening community online on YouTube, people are sharing lots of really helpful videos for beginners. Uh, there are lots of lists of how to grow enough food for yourself and your family for the whole year, or the top X number of easy vegetables to grow, and, and that's all great. Um, I haven't been gardening for that long. My wife and I did it for a few years casually, and then I really took it seriously about two years ago when I started this channel. I can't really offer uh, a, a you know ultimate list or anything. I don't have the experience, but if I can contribute anything to this whole conversation and try to help people out in this situation, I just want to say that it's my opinion that the green thumb really uh, keeps people from continuing to learn how to grow, you know, whatever it is they're growing, whether it's houseplants or ornamentals outside or a vegetable garden, it kind of stops people in their tracks. I have had conversations with lots of people as, uh, as any gardener. I just want to talk about gardening all the time with everybody. So I've talked to a lot of people who they say maybe they tried growing one or two things, uh, maybe a tomato plant or something, or some house plants, and and it was okay for a while, and then it died for whatever reason, or they just didn't get a very good harvest, and they they already know about this idea of the green thumb, and they, they decide, well, I guess I don't have that, so I'm not going to be very good at it, and they kind of give up, and I really hate to see that and so I, I mean I know the the green thumb is is a phrase that has been around for a very long time it is just part of gardening lingo you know you, you hear green thumb and you know it has something to do with gardening automatically but uh, you know in most cases it's not really a big deal but when it comes to people who are just trying things out they may think that it refers to a natural ability to grow plants and care for plants and keep things alive and if they make a mistake or you know if something dies on them for whatever reason they feel like I just don't have that ability and I'm not gonna keep trying anymore so the real tragedy when somebody says they don't think they have a green thumb it's not that their plant wound up dying on them but it's more that they have this stigma in their heads that it's supposed to be this natural ability and they don't have it and so it stops them from continuing to to learn and to become a better gardener and so i always just try to be encouraging however i can you know i i haven't been growing that long i have things die on me all the time and it, sometimes it is my own fault sometimes it's pests and diseases and Gardeners who've been growing for their entire lives have things die on them all the time, too. It just happens. And so it's really just about that determination to get better. No matter what any, any mistakes or anything that fails on you, that is an opportunity to try to learn from it and get better. And that's, that's part of what this channel is about, is... Uh, to show the things that I screw up all the time. And, uh, and hopefully that will, for one thing, show people maybe what not to do. Uh, I at least try to share my theories on different things. And I know I'm not always right. Uh, I know I'm probably definitely not <laughs> a lot of the time. But as long as that is encouraging in a way to help people to see that it is okay. And in fact, it's a good thing when something doesn't work right because you can you can educate yourself and try to do better 
And there are so many good resources out there for you to learn these days. I mean, so much stuff here on YouTube. There are so many great channels with just amazing content, very helpful. Um, I myself have uh, over 50 videos now, which is pretty crazy. And uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years and just I'm trying to learn too. And that's, that's partly why I'm here. So there's so much stuff that you can learn for free, looking around online, asking questions, talking to people in, uh, in the comments and, uh, you know, always be respectful and be open to, uh, you know, passing ideas around and, and trying new things and experiment yourself as much as you can. It really is helpful. I know for some people the green thumb can refer more to somebody who just has been gardening for a very long time and they have that experience. It's something that they have developed over time. And that regard, I don't really, I don't have a problem with that. It's just that most of the time when I hear it come up, it's somebody saying that they tried growing a couple things and they died and so they don't they don't have it and so that's what I really I would like to see that kind of go away more I mean I, I don't know if that is really possible but this is my contribution to this whole situation as there are so many people who are trying to get into this for the first time uh, I don't like to see people so easily giving up on something like this because Learning to grow your own food or growing plants, growing anything, I think is one of the most rewarding things that you can do with uh, you know, your physical health, mental health. Getting to eat so much good stuff if you're growing a vegetable garden, you get uh, so much good nutrition out of it, you get to be outside, you get to learn more about nature and how, the, how things work, uh, the science behind it. It's absolutely fascinating. It's really good for your brain and good for your entire lifestyle and well-being. So I don't like to see anybody, uh, you know, feel like they, they just don't have it automatically, you know, that like they're not born with it. And so they, they just kind of give up on it. So I just want to do my part to get that out there into the world and hopefully still keep encouraging people to to continue with it. it. It's possible that it's it's something that you earn over time, but it is not just this trait that you have to have. So anyway, I hope this was helpful in, in some way, and uh, please give it a thumbs up, share this around with your friends and family, somebody who you think it could be helpful to, to hear some of this stuff, and uh, be safe out there, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.